Hey, so good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this morning, I am going to try my hand, my hands at um, some habanero uh, pepper sauce. Um, I do have a lot of pepper sauce, and I will, um, I'm going to give this a go. It won't be a fermented kind. It's going to be quick um, and uh, hopefully hot and great to go on top of pizza or hot wings. Uh, some of us like barbecue hot wings in this household, um, but uh, I like it really spicy. So I'm going to try this. Um, stay tuned. All right, so we are in the third week of the NFL this year, and uh, um, I've been purchasing a lot of uh, hot sauce. I do have a whole pantry full of them, uh, but I was in the store, and I saw some of these habaneros on sale. I think this batch right here uh, cost me roughly $1.49, $1.50. So uh, I said, what the heck, give, let's, let's give it a try. So what, I, what you kind of need is, and, and, and there's no measuring, uh, I'm going to wing it. Maybe the vinegar uh, and the water, um, I'll measure that out. Probably use maybe a half cup of each or a cup, quarter cup of each. But I go through this sauce pretty quick. So uh, so you're going to need, I'm going to use roughly, um, here, I'm going to use roughly um, a dozen of habaneros. Um, you're going to need a blender. Um, nothing fancy, just a, a generic blender. Uh, some garlic. I use garlic powder. I'm not going to crush up garlic. You're going to need a little salt. Um, some carrots. Um, I already have water in the carrots and I'm not going to cook this sauce because uh, the vinegar will preserve it. Uh, however, the carrots does have sugar so you don't see sugar uh, um, out here. So I did put about a half cup of water in the carrots. I'm not going to cook it over the stove and I'm not going to cook the peppers. Um, the the carrots, I roughly have maybe a half a cup of water in there and I'm gonna put it in a microwave, um, I don't know, seven minutes or so. Uh, depends on your microwave. Um, I'm gonna get this like halfway done and there's a lot of carrots there. So I most likely will use, those are little finger carrots, uh, baby carrots. Um, I'll probably use uh, two dozens. And the rest we're gonna use for lunch. Uh, and a couple of uh, old bottles of funnel. I have a small bottle and then a bigger bottle. Um, and of course, you're gonna need a little bit of um, distilled vinegar. Um, I was gonna use a apple cider vinegar. Uh, the rice vinegar is kind of mild. The apple cider vinegar will give this a great fruity flavor, but I don't have any. I forgot I ran out. So uh, I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna put this uh, the carrots in a microwave and then um, I'll come back and uh, uh, add some salt, some garlic, just a touch of garlic, because um, the powdered garlic do, do, does go a long way. They do go a long way. And uh, blend it up and uh, um, put it in a jar for you. Stay tuned. So the, the carrots are out of the microwave. Uh, this is uh, for my lunch. And what you're gonna see there, uh, so what you're seeing there is roughly a cup of carrots and the um, the broth that's uh, or the water that I cooked the carrots in. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put this together for you. Uh, so the carrots, there's no flavor in this. It's just carrots and water, and most likely there's sugar that's coming out of this carrot. So it's be a little sweet, and that's one of the reason that I use. I like the habaneros because there's more of a flavor in the habaneros than the first. Uh, you know, for example, the jalapeno. The jalapeno just have the heat, but it doesn't have the fruit leaf fruity flavors. And the thing with the habaneros, let me touch on that. The habaneros, I'm gonna use seeds and all, but as you can see, the habaneros is orange. Uh, as as they grow, you know, they, they grow green and the greener immature uh, habaneros is a little hotter. So when it turn, uh, when it turn orange, it gave it uh, a nicer, sweeter uh, flavor. Right. It's still hot as uh, hot can be. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the carrots. Um, I am gonna use a half a cup of vinegar. And uh, 
This is um, a teaspoon and a half. Uh, so it's half a tablespoon. So it's a te teaspoon and a half of salt. Uh, and, and I'll taste it at the end and see if I need more. Um, just a smidgen of uh, garlic powder, not a lot. A dash of salt, oh, that's too much. That's fine. All right, so, uh, so we have all that in, so now it's just the peppers. All right. And then I'll blend it. Oh, there's a little stem I forgot to take out. But um, what I'll do is I'll blend it and, uh, let me move this out of the way. You know, I do this over the stove because I have much better lighting over here than uh, anywhere else. So the carrots are still a little warm. can see it on, but uh, anyway, so here we go. Turn on low first, I guess. Blend. <laughs> and that's pretty much all, uh, all there is to it. Um, it's got a little air in it right now, so you see a little foam. My gosh, it's no hot as hot can be. All right, so I should have turned it off so you guys didn't hear that, so I apologize for that. Uh, it looks like carrot puree, but I'm not gonna take the lid off. I took the lid off a few seconds ago, and uh, I got a wolf of it, and it's uh, it's burning my uh, nostrils and my, uh, my throat. So I'm just gonna leave that on for a couple seconds. And uh, I'll come back with the pour. I just tasted it and uh, it is a lot of, there is a lot of heat. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another half cups of, of that carrot. Uh, there, that was just the right amount of salt and uh, uh, vinegar. Um, it's got a beautiful, beautiful flavor. I'm just gonna add just a little bit more, um, a little bit more of uh, carrots. I think that's good enough and uh, now I am going to see if I don't make a mess out of pouring this into this jar it's kind of thick so I prefer the uh, the larger mouth um, and this 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 might not work yeah it does yeah so it looks like parade uh, Did I say that wrong? Carrots, but um, oh my goodness, the smell. <laughs> There's some heat here, guys. And I do like it a little chunky. Um, I guess I can go a little more. That's why I use a larger mouth bottle. But anyways, um, thank you so much again for tuning in. Maybe I just need one jar. I doubt it. But uh, if I have any left, I'll add a little vinegar and make a thinner sauce with a smaller bottle. It's not gonna affect the, uh, I can tell you that it's not gonna affect the heat and more vinegar or, uh, or water. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to be satisfied with with this. Yeah, I could have blended it a little more because I can see a little carrot chunks, but 
I do like carrots, so not a big deal. Okay, so uh, you know what? What the heck? I'm just gonna use it all instead of making a. You know what? Let me. Uh, I am going to make a, this a little thinner and uh, use that in a small jar. Uh, this is going to have to be good enough. For me. I am not going to fill that up be happy with this sauce. I'll be right back to show you the outcome. I mean, I guess all you do is shake it before you use it. Look at that. That's pretty. All right. Okay. Be right back. Okay. So what I did is I, uh, I poured this out and blended it up a little more because it was a little too chunky. Um, but uh, it's still got a great con consistency with it. And so I diluted this down with some vinegar and water and a little bit more salt. Um, I tasted it earlier and uh, the flavor is just amazing still. Um, so this is gonna be like a little thicker than what you get in the store. Um, okay, so what happened here? Oh, I know what happened. It's not the, uh, it's not the, uh, it's the air. It's vacuum. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, because it was, it's pretty thin. All right. I got a little extra. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, I'm going to make a mess here, but I'm going to. I really don't like making messes. So there it is. What do you think? Pretty cool. Um, I can't wait to, uh, to try this on a pizza. Um, all right. Thank you so much.